good afternoon to one and all and good morning and good evening and probably midnight across the world so we are going to have a short discussion on behavioral sciences probably one of the important components which requires a bit of help or intervention by mentors and teachers because you will realize that it is very very difficult to interpret such questions because this is more of a theoretical concept which has to have to be applied without visualizing a patient okay so we will start with the first question the question reads something like this a new formula for an anti wrinkle cream is being tested for efficacy in a group of 362 healthy 40 to 60 years old female volunteers now no gender bias please the marketing team randomizes the volunteers half receive the new formula and the other half of the volunteers receive the or original formula the mean age of the test group is 48 with a 95% confidence interval ranging from 42 to 56 and the average age of control group is 49 95% confidence interval 42 to 55 now let's stop and till this point let's see whether the question is having some major messages now this is a randomized control trial where one group is getting the normal and the other one is getting the interventional cream now the number of participants are equal fine and the control group and the interventional arm have a similar age group so i do not think there is any form of bias till this moment of the data given in the question the volunteers are unaware of which formula they receive now this refers to blinding and this is a single level of blinding the research and development team then compare before and after photographs of the volunteers following 6 weeks of at home application twice daily for simplicity the marketing team labels the photographs with new formula or the original formula now there is a problem over here because you can realize that the marketing team knows which person has received which therapy while analysis now let's see further the 98% of volunteers in the test group complete the study whereas 97% of volunteers in the control group complete the study okay now so now they try to make some conclusions out of it now let's review the question there is only one point which is probably striking us that the people who were analyzing it know which cream it is okay this is the take home message from the entire question now the question states which of the following potential biases most likely impacted this conclusion and they have given you five different types of biases now you should first understand some very very hard hitting points for these biases we'll start from selection bias remember selection bias happens before data collection at the time of recruitment in this question the problem is happening after the data collection so the answer cannot be selection bias second hawthorn effect which is also called as attention seeking bias which is a typical feature of cohort study now this is a interventional study so again cannot be the answer observer bias which happens during the time of data collection and might be the answer let's think about it procedure bias it depends upon how the study has been conducted it also happens at both the times during the time of recruitment or it may also happen during the time of data collection so maybe the answer as well so now we either have the answer as 3 or 4 1 and 2 certainly not number 5 recall bias typically seen in a case control study so again would not be the answer now let's see so the key concept or the key messages because the research and the development team 
know which cream each volunteer received the study it is as a risk of observer bias now observer bias occurs when an investigator's evaluation is impacted by knowledge of exposure status this is the key theoretical concept over here now if you see we had had a confusion between option 3 and 4 now why not 4 because i have explained you 1 2 and 5 now why not 4 See, procedure bias occurs when the exposure and the control group are not treated the same. Because in this example, both the groups were given the same instruction and followed up in the same amount of time with an equal degree of participation of a 98 and 97%. Procedure bias is relatively unlikely. So the answer comes as 3. Now, dear students, this is a very very important way to approach a question where you should also know why we are ruling out the other options okay now so to summarize selection bias before data collection Hawthorne effect seen in cohort recall bias seen in case control confusion between observer and procedure we rule out procedure because it means a differential treat a differential treatment for a intervention and a placebo arm which is not happened in this so the answer is three okay now let's end the question and look into the theoretical background which is there now there are two important question one is validity other is reliability now reliability means repeatability whereas validity means a correct result now you can see two images over here what the first image is reliable not valid because the archer who was throwing at the bullseye hit the periphery consistently but was not hitting the center which he should have hit so it is reliable and not valid whereas the other scenario when the archer hits the center is both reliable and valid now dear students more than the definition probably these other names create lot of confusion validity is also called as accuracy is also called as efficiency on the other hand reliability is also called as repeatability is also called as precision is also called as consistency okay definition is theoretical okay that you need not get into it just remember the other synonyms because in the exam you might have read it as reliability whereas the question will ask you as precision so there should not be any form of confusion okay now now let's take an example and try to understand this concept in a very easy way okay a uh, md doctor is probably confused whether his or her patient is having hypertension or not because some of times this patient is having an increased blood pressure whereas sometimes she has a normal blood pressure now to clear this dilemma this doctor employed one of his younger internee doctors to go to the home of this lady and to measure the blood pressure 100 times from morning 6 till evening 6. Now, there are two scenarios which happened. In the first scenario, the doctor was a great doctor, probably like one of our students who knew how to measure the blood pressure properly. He measured the blood pressure 100 times and out of the 100 times he got correct results in 95 times and let's understand this why 95 why not 100 the answer is blood pressure is a biological variable which has time trends that is as per the time of the day it changes it changes as per the mood the nature of the person the degree of anxiety so due to this reason probably the doctor was unable to get a perfectly correct result in 100 times so this case of scenario one is typically defined as random error now random error cannot be removed 100 percent it leads to slight decrease in reliability it is due to biological variation and fourth it is more it can be decreased if the sample size is increased but cannot be removed 100 percent now students please remember this story this story gives you a very very animated insight into this concept now scenario two 
imagine the doctor is like a person who cheated for the exams okay but doesn't know how to measure the blood pressure and he had heard the senior doctor speaking to a patient that the normal blood pressure is 160 by 120 he goes back measures the blood pressure of the person but he doesn't know he gives you false readings writes some values near 160 by 120 now this is what is called as a bias now this was what we were discussing just a few while back so bias can be removed 100% if you train the doctor it is not affected by the sample size because the doctor doesn't know it is due to willful error and leads to decrease in validity a very very important concept so this is what has been summarized in this table for you people okay now types of bias see classically Saket was the person who described that there are two types of bias basically one is a selection bias the other is measurement bias selection bias typically happens when at the time of recruitment before the data collection whereas a measurement bias happens at the time of data collection the selection bias is of two types one is a volunteer based study other is a hospital based study which we typically have a fancy name called as Berkersonian bias whereas on the other hand this measurement bias is of two types one is the recall other is the observer bias okay this is all about this question how to rule out the options what is the theoretical background to this okay so for more such videos for more such questions please visit us on our Facebook page which will give you a real insight into how MLE works and how DAMS USMLE edge provides you an edge as compared to any other student preparing in the country thank you